Why do only Catholics get possessed? Catholics are just the best known church that deals with the topic. Other churches do too, but that's not something most people are familiar with. Everybody knows about holy water and crosses and exorcism rituals and those are Catholic things. But for example, Lutherans also have an exorcism ritual. But there aren't nearly as many Lutherans as there are Catholics. So they don't make movies about Lutheran exorcisms. Because it's more interesting when it involves Catholics. They've got vestments, icons, a church hierarchy. How would a bunch of guys in t-shirts laying on hands, on a sunny afternoon make a visually compelling story? There are plenty of non-Christian cultures that have long histories of spirit possession rituals too. Non-Catholics are too full of sins, no place left for evil demons s. Because demons are super respectful of other people's beliefs. In some Asian cultures, there are possessed people too you can have Buddhist exercise demons too. Good luck. That's not true, evangelicals also believe heavily in demonic possession. They don't. Other kinds of Christians have exorcists too for a reason. I don't think the girl in my best friend's exorcism was Catholic, but I could be wrong. You know what I probably am. Her parents were really conservative. So Emma Vicker's daughter UK speak for pastor. I know my dad's diocese had an exorcist and we were Anglican. He never spoke of possession, but there was apparently an angry poltergeist he once dealt with in conjunction with the exorcist. His belief was that, as poltergeists tend to appear around prepubescent girls, that they are less angry spirits and more some kind of way pent up preteen emotions are expressed. Impersonally pretty skeptical and agnostic these days, but it is interesting. Muslims too lol it occurs in other religions also. Never been to a charismatic church, eh? You should play the game I be lie s. Because when all you have is a hammer every problem looks like a nail. It's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy I think? Catholics generally believe in possession more than Protestants as far as I'm aware, and if you think possession is real you're more likely to attribute family members going off the rails to possession than, say, mental disorders or a chemical imbalance. In many of these movies, the families are not Catholic. It's just that the Catholic Church tends to train people and priests for this task. So if you're like a Methodist or something and you think you're possessed most of the business cards you're going to come across for that service is going to be Catholic personnel. I grew up in the Pentecostal Charismatic Church, and they love to do exorcisms for everything. Depression? Exorcism. ADHD? Exorcism. Panic attacks? Exorcism. Gay? Exorcism. I'm an atheist now. The last exorcism isn't Catholic. They aren't necessarily. The most iconic possession film is The Exorcist, and the victim's family is atheist. Exorcism is a Catholic thing, so the priests doing it are usually Catholic. But that doesn't mean the families are. Because it's fate. Tooth Fairy can't come if it don't believe in it. Every movie I've seen that involves demon possession, the family or individual was not Catholic. The Exorcist, The Possession Insidious, The Conjuring, The Last Exorcism. Half the population is possessed by the 666 Big Tech Cabal. Eric the Viking covered this well. Satan doesn't want heathens either. You probably already know the answer to this. They are the only ones that believe in possession.